Galnet News Digest, 9th of January 3310. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, the CEO of Sirius alleges sabotage. And an obscure threat is isolated in transmissions. The Sirius CEO has complained of Alliance sabotage, but insists the corporation will remain one of the superpower's key suppliers. Li Yongrui was giving evidence before the Alliance Assembly's committee investigating the Strategic Defence Pact, which is being chaired by Councillor Nakato Kane. When Kane raised the demonstrable lack of actual military support against the Thargoid invasion, Yong Rui appeared to become defensive. He bragged about the retrofitting of thousands of Alliance ships with anti Zeno technology. But he blamed the Alliance for slow progress, claiming that bureaucracy and deliberate delaying tactics by those in the Alliance who do not support the pact had somehow prevented Sirius from engaging the Thargoids in battle. When Kane pressed him over the gap between what the pact commits Sirius to deliver and what has actually been delivered, the Sirius CEO pointed to Kane's failed attempt in December last year to demonstrate that the Alliance could handle its own logistics. He insisted that the pact would continue because the Alliance is no longer capable of functioning as a military power without Sirius' help. The inquiry is expected to take several weeks, and it will call several more witnesses. Azimuth Biotech's offer to step in to replace Sirius remains open. A message discovered on fleet carriers may be part of a bigger message threatening an Imperial Admiral and Senator. The message, discovered while Commander Salmonea was admiring their fleet carrier antennae, is hidden in an audio pulse that's transmitted at intervals, and can be seen using a spectroscope. It initially appeared to be incomplete, reading, A's are numbered. Speculation about what the partial first word might mean were split broadly into two camps. There were those who believed it to be a message from the Thargoids, telling us our days were numbered. But there was also a strong showing from those believing it to be a message from the fleet carrier traffic controllers, reminding us that the landing bays are numbered. But the Ouroboros Collective was ahead of the curve. Several months ago, they'd already intercepted and isolated the complete message at several agricultural installations, being broadcast there roughly every three minutes. The children of Raxler brought this discovery to light, and in this video it's been enhanced by members of Canon Research for greater clarity. The message reads, Senator Petraeus, your days are numbered. This opens up further questions. Is it someone quoting Senator Petraeus who's telling us our days are numbered? Is it a threat aimed at the Senator? Or is it a progress report from a scribe, letting the Senator know that his 3310 calendar is ready for collection? If it's a threat, then who is making it, and why from agricultural installations? It may be an old message left over from a previous conflict, such as the sorry case of Emperor's Dawn, the Marlinist Liberation Organisation, the Lords of Restoration, or indeed the Scythe of Panem, although they were mainly upset at the Federation, not the Empire. Or perhaps it's a brand new threat. Whichever it is, it seems unlikely it'll disturb the Senator's sleep greatly. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News. We read the news so you don't have to. Our plays are numbered. <laughs>